Huskers wrapped up their second fall camp practice here on Tuesday. Hi, Sean Callahan with HuskerOnline.com. Before I get to the report, make sure you like and follow and subscribe to us right here on our Husker Online YouTube channel. But we talked to defensive coordinator Tony White, a number of defensive players, and Coach White gave his early rundown of what he's seen thus far in fall camp. I mean, right now we're just we're just trying to concentrate on the operation that we know what to do, we know what our identity is, and whether it's, again, whether it's individual walkthrough or whether it's full team competition, we know how we're supposed to act. And uh, so far it's been good, but uh, we still got a long way to go. A big talking point for a lot of the players and coaches was this body composition and how this team has really leaned up. We're in good shape. We're, we're, we're getting into playing shape. You know, they've been running and lifting, and you can see they've gained 10, 12, 15 pounds. They're leaner. They're explosive. Now we're getting into actual football shape. And like I said, I, coaches included. I mean, it is, it, it, it's a lot of moving parts, and, and we have to do, make sure we do our job so that way those guys can go out there and do their job. Honestly, our skinny guys are gaining weight. Our big guys are losing weight, so it's been good, you know. Um, in particular, I'm just happy with the way our young guys have embraced Kristen and Corey and their staff and have bought into everything that they're doing. And uh, we have young guys that have gained 20, 30 pounds in two, three months. And we have big guys who's lost 10, 15 pounds and uh, also gained uh, muscle mass. So that's good. So um, that's just a tribute to what Kristen and Corey are doing. And, you know, they got a great program and those guys are following it. Yeah, so I think a part of that comes from Kristen. A part of that comes from Corey, our strength coach, Coach, coach Campbell. Um, but at the end of the day, it's going to be on the players, and it's going to be on the buy-in of the players. You know, Coach Campbell's not watching me eat at night. He's not watching, watching Nash eat at night. So holding ourselves to a high standard, making sure that we're eating the right things, eating healthy, and uh, they've been feeding us the right way. And then lifting and mobility has been a really key focus point for us as D linemen. You know, we're big guys. We got to be able to move as well. So that's a that's a big that's a big piece of it. And over this first week, we're going to see Nebraska continue this two-practice approach where the veterans go early and then the younger players in the program get their own practice time. There's been a lot of benefits. Oh, it's, a, it's exactly that, reps. I mean, you can even tell by the way I look, I need to get my butt in shape. So coach has us running after the guys and making sure we know how to run to the ball. But uh, it's great, you know. One of the key words, the process and developing, right? So the only way you can develop is actually get meaningful reps. And whether it's uh, uh, teaching and individuals, whether it's half, half line stuff, or whether it's full team or 707, like a lot of guys are getting a lot of reps at a lot of places, so it's really good. Um, I feel like it has been beneficial. Um, you got guys that's working. They really work in. Like the young guys, they getting more reps. They really work in. Got older guys getting more reps, they really working. So I feel like it's even all around because we wanna we wanna teach everybody, we want everybody to learn from their mistakes. Uh, it's been on a really high standard, and I think that especially us in the D line room, we're paying really close attention to every single rep and treating them like their goal because that's what it is. So um, that's been a key focus point for us in the D line room, having our key and playing fast. So. The energy, the effort, it's got to continue to go up every, each and every single day, and we got to continue to raise our standard. One guy that's moved up with that top defensive practice group has been Ruquan Buckley on the defensive line. Uh, Coach Knighton and White have high hopes for Buckley. Yeah, you know what? That, that's I'm glad you brought that name up. I think that is that is truly what represents the process and what Coach Rules has brought here. You know, you talk about a guy like Buck. You know, we identified, hey, he needs to be closer to this weight. Uh, that's Corey, that's the Kristen in the nutrition, that's uh, uh, Mitch over at the sports science, that's everybody included uh, constantly giving him the resources he need, he needed in order to get himself in the best shape he's been in. Uh, he's flying around, he's happy, he's being a leader out there. I'm really, really excited for what, it, what he's been able to do, and that's representative of, of what's here now. His body's changed, he's accepted you know, the new techniques that he's playing. He's always been the big run stopper. Um, like I've said in the past, but now he enjoys getting after, uh, getting after the quarterback, doing a lot of different things, movement-wise up front. And uh, right now, he's he's hitting on all cylinders. Rue, Rue's, uh, Rue's been doing a great job. He's uh, doing everything that he's asked. Um, he wants to be he wants to be a good player, and he's been working like it. So it's been it's been fun to watch him develop too, since uh, these guys have gotten here. 
The Huskers will open with the Minnesota Gophers. And, you know, coincidentally, Tony White, when he came from Syracuse, they played the Gophers in the Pinstripe Bowl, but White was already at Nebraska when that game took place. He obviously has somewhat of a handle on what they'll see, uh, but he said a lot will change from that bowl game to now. When I took the – when I was able to take this opportunity here – you know, I did not have any game responsibilities. They had already hired Rocky over there. And if you watch the game closely, they went to a different personnel grouping because of they had a whole bunch of injuries. So schematics-wise, it was a little different because they, they put some stuff in there. But uh, it, it gives you a sense of maybe what they're thinking. But also, you know, their running back only played the first half and all that stuff. So we're going we're gonna to watch it. We're going to break it down. But it's going to be our normal game plan stuff from the games that we think are, are going to be comparable and, and – devise a game plan that way. And life in the Selleck dorms continues to be a topic of discussion as well here in fall camp as Nebraska's players will spend the next two weeks living with the coaches over in the dorms. <laughs> first, two, first two nights been all right. Um, I was in a suite before, so the dorms, it was like, it was like smaller than suites. So I'm like, oh well, because I had a queen bed in the suites. So yeah, it's all right. It's not bad. And finally, one position note we learned, Eric Fields is working now as a rover slash safety. He did come into Nebraska as a linebacker, reporting here with the Nebraska football team in Lincoln. I'm Sean Callahan of HuskerOnline.com.